Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk with Real Food Recovery. This is our weekly wisdom segment with our weekly wisdom leaders. And this week we are going to be talking about our branching out workshop that we are having this Monday evening, which is I think May 7th, right? At May 6th at 8 Eastern. And I will put the Zoom room number in uh, the the comments below, but this is going to be on the magic of movement and how it enhances our recovery. So for me, it is a huge component of a happy, well-balanced life. And I can definitely tell when it's missing in my life, those endorphins aren't there. My baseline goes down a little bit, but you just feel so good and so powerful. You have self-trust, self-esteem, self-confidence. Everything feels better. It's like the curtains are opened a little brighter whenever you have movement in your life. And whenever I don't, I just don't quite frankly, have as much energy. I think I have more energy the more I move. I think our bodies were designed to move, not sit. And so it's just a natural byproduct of movement, all these wonderful things that come into our life. And even better if you can do it with a friend and get some connection in, and even triple better if you can do it outdoors and enjoy nature at the same time. Jamie, what about you? How does movement fit into your life? How is it beneficial to you? Yeah, uh, it's a great topic. I, you know, it, it is one of our core branches for sure. So on on Monday, May sixth at eight p.m. Eastern, uh, our branching out workshop is going to be all about how to, I think, remove the stigma around movement. It doesn't mean having to go to the gym. It doesn't mean having to have some some big, um, you know, weightlifting practice or or anything like that. It really can be about getting you know um, getting that movement grooved into into your life so that you can move get those movement patterns grouped into your muscles into your to your body into your physiology and to your brain um we know that when the when our blood flows you know from movement everything flows better our thoughts uh our our approach to life our perspective and mindsets flow with our bodies and our bodies truly are machines and they're made to move if they sit idle they get stiff and start to break down, just like a car sitting idle in a, in a parking lot. So we need to think about, or a junkyard, right? We need to think about how we're taking care of our bodies and moving them. Um, and uh, I would say movement has been as big a part of my journey um, into emotional and, and mental well-being as the food was for me. Um, and, it, and I don't move for my, my body shape. I move because it, it really, it empowers me. It reminds me that I'm alive. It's a challenge that I overcome every single day. I overcome that challenge first thing in the morning and it really does keep me focused and on track um, in everything else I do for the whole rest of the day. So movement is a foundational element. And again, it's not about the gym or, or, or big heavy weights or doing some fancy yoga practices. It's about doing something that you can consistently do and overcome every day in a, in a life-giving way. Um, Shay, how does movement fit in your recovery? Mm, I love this. And I think you ladies have said some really key things already. But um, for me, it's if I don't move, um, <laughs> I'm probably not a nice person. But, you know, <laughs> jokes aside, I know that I need to move. Um, and uh, I often try and to shift that whole thinking around like exercise because for some people the word exercise can be a painful and a triggering um word you know and not everybody has the privilege of all moving in a certain way but our bodies are designed to move and i love to 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 use the word enjoyable movement you know and and sometimes even just going back to like what were you what did you enjoy doing as a little kid you know let's reconnect if it's something that you really do struggle with or you feel a resistance or a freeze coming up let's re connect with that little person that did probably enjoy some sort of movement you know and for me I know that I am a far more regulated person when I get out and I'm moving in the forests and I'm breathing in the natural air um, you know and I'm getting all that energy that emotion um, especially with what I do throughout the day you know journey with people there's a lot of energy and emotion that comes with that and and I've got to get that emotion out you know energy it's energy and motion emotion so I know that for me physically and emotionally and mentally um, it's a super beneficial thing and like even in the last of the while my youngest has become 
I'm such a, a fan of cycling and, and we, we jokingly say like he becomes really like huggy and like just loves us as mom and dad. We're like, hey, let's just get him on that bike even more, you know, but it does do something to us. It does um, add to us. So yeah, definitely a really well-timed um, workshop. So yeah, don't miss it. Yeah. We can't wait. And we might think that exercise is just uh, to make changes in our bodies, but really it makes a lot of changes in our mind. And that's what we're going for. And exercise does not have to be scary. So that's one of our biggest messages too. So we hope we see you there on this coming Monday night. Again, it's free and we will put the Zoom room in the comments below. But if you want to find out more about us, you can also find us at realfoodrecoveryforyou.com. That's the number four and the letter U. And we hope to see you there. Thanks guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.